Hey everyone, Dan from FB Geeks here, and today I'm going to be reviewing a very cool pen, the Conid Bulk Filler Streamline. Now, you may have seen my previous review on the Bulk Filler Flat Top, which is a very similar pen with the same filling system, so I won't focus too much on that aspect of the pen, but the design is different enough that I felt it deserved its own review. Now, if you want all the nitty gritty details about the filling system, check out the flat top review. I have provided a link to it in the description below. But now, let's take a look at this guy. The Streamline comes in a little different packaging than the flat top I first reviewed. It's still a clamshell style case, but there's more flair to it, a little more edginess. It's wrapped in some kind of material that's very fibrous and has a lot of feel to it. There's a lot of texture in the hand. On the inside, you have a metal plaque that acts like a certificate of authenticity with the owner's name on it. You get a cleaning cloth, the pen of course, an instruction pamphlet, and a couple of tools that's a 15 euro option. The Streamline is one of two new models of the bulk filler, the other being the Sleek. They both bring a much smoother, rounder profile to the bulk filler than the original flat top model. The Streamline, which I have here, features a very gradual taper in the barrel with a cap lip that fits over the barrel when capped. The Sleek, on the other hand, features a thicker barrel that's flush with the cap, creating a smooth, clean profile when capped. The trade-off is that there's a bigger transition from the section to the barrel on the Sleek than there is on the Streamline. The only thing I don't like about this pin is the side profile of the clip. I think it fits great on the flat top, but it just looks out of place on the Streamline. That hard, 90 degree angle classes too much with the smooth, gentle curves of the rest of the pin. Moving down the cap, we can get a good look at the cap band and its engraving. It's subtle with enough contrast to make it easy to read. At the other end of the pin on the filling knob, it is engraving that's not as easy to read. It says Conid Antwerp Belgium, and I actually like that this engraving doesn't stand out as much as the cap bands. The nib in my pen is titanium and has the beautiful Conid logo engraved on it. There are also steel and gold options as well, with each option available in only fine or medium widths. Now, I covered all the parts and details of the filling system in my review of the flat top, but I'll quickly go over it here in case you missed that video. Start by unscrewing the filling knob and pulling the rod all the way back until the front threaded section of the rod meets the black piston at the rear of the pin. Continue rotating the filling knob counterclockwise to thread the rod into the piston. Once complete, turn the knob one more revolution to disengage the black piston from the silver colored barrel nut. The piston can now be pushed forward. Insert the nib into your favorite ink and pull the piston back to fill. Now, simply turn the knob clockwise to lock the piston into the barrel nut and disengage the rod from the piston. Push the knob forward and thread onto the barrel nut. I don't know if you noticed it or not, but the lateral motion of the piston was pretty choppy and it was sticking in the barrel. So I used the included wrench to remove the filling unit and apply a little silicone grease to the piston ring. I put it back in and operated it a few times to spread the grease around, then used a cotton swab to wipe up any excess. After pu putting the filling unit back in the pin, notice how easy the piston slides back and forth. There's very little resistance now and it feels much better to use. The ease in which this pin can be disassembled and reassembled is one of its big advantages. If any other pin in this price range needed service, it would have to be sent off to a repair center, and if you're not paying for the service or the shipping, you'd be without your pin for at least two to three months. Like the flat top before it, the Streamline is a sizable pin, so let's see how it stacks up to a few others. From left to right, we have the Lamy 2000, the Omos Milord, the Omos Ogiva Vintage, the Mont Blanc 149, the Conid Bulk Filler, the Pelican M1000, the Pelican M805, the Twisby Diamond 540, the Parker Dual Fold Centennial, and the Pelican M200. Uncapped, you can get a good feel for how large the Streamline is. It's closer in width to the M805, but notice that it's longer than even the M1000. Posting each pin shows it's most similar to the 149 in length. So if you like a large pin, this one will definitely fit the bill. 
in the hand, the Streamline feels just as good as any of those pens, and actually a little better than most. The cap does post very well, it sits far enough down on the barrel to keep the pen comfortable, and the o-rings on the filling knob actually create a nice tight seal with the cap. The section is mildly concave with a gentle transition to the barrel over a very short section of smooth titanium threads. Notice I hold my pen fairly far back which results in my thumb resting on the threads and I was never once bothered by them. For the writing sample I'll be filling the streamline with some Aurora Blue. I just recently used this ink for the first time and I find it's a lovely color that's very well behaved. The first pull of the bulk filler will result in about a 60 to 70 percent fill since there's quite a distance between the piston and the feet, but it's easy to get a full fill in only two strokes. Turn the pin upside down and push all the air out of the system, but be sure to wrap the nib as a little ink will come out of the feet. Then fill the pin as before. Now keep in mind that when you close the system, be sure to do so over the ink bottle because pushing the rod back into the pen will squeeze out a few drops of ink. When you're finished, you'll have a pen that holds nearly two and a half milliliters of ink. The fine nib in this pen is incredibly smooth. It's one of, if not the smoothest, fine nib I've ever used. Match that up with the soft titanium nib and you've got a writing experience matched by few other pens. But it wasn't pure bliss. Out of the box, the tines of my nib were spaced just a hair too far apart, which made the ink flow pretty wet and resulted in the fine nib being more of a fat fine. That didn't bother me so much, what bothered me about it was that when flexing the nib a bit, the flow had a tendency to be interrupted and that slightly larger than optimal gap between the tines would prevent flow from starting up right away as you're seeing right here. But once going again, the results are beautiful. I made a simple little adjustment to reduce the gap between the tines and haven't had any issues since. So there it is, that's the Conid Bulk Filler Streamline. I think it's an excellent design and I much prefer it over the flat top. I had a very good experience with the nib, it really only gave me problems when I started flexing it, which may have been more my fault anyway. Under normal, non-flexed writing, I never had a problem with it, and honestly, I wouldn't call this a flex nib like I would the Pilot Falcon or Justice 95. This titanium nib is a soft nib that can be pushed into flexing, but that's not really what it's about. The other thing I want to mention quickly is the clip. Since it and all the other parts are titanium, it has to be machined. The clip can't be stamped then bent into shape because titanium won't bend around that tight of a radius without serious deformation. So it's really the only thing I have to live with about this pen. I know, big deal, right? But then there's the price. The bulk filler starts at 420 euro without a nib. Add five for a steel nib, 30 for titanium, and 135 for 18K gold. Tooling to remove the filling unit is optional at 15, and shipping is 35. If you plan to pay by PayPal, you'll have to add 5%, so a pin in my configuration with a titanium nib and the tooling puts a total at 523 euro, or $727. That's Pelican M1000 territory. I mean, you could get a Nokia for that. Heck, a couple extra hundred bucks and you could get a Mont Blanc 149. I mean, there's a lot of options in this price range. But what you get with the Conid is exclusivity. You'd have to spend thousands to get a pen from anyone else made in such low numbers. You also get a very unique filling system that no other pen has inside of a well-designed, well-made writing instrument. Now this pen's not for everyone, the price makes that clear. But for those who are able to obtain one, it'll be something special. So thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the Conid Streamline. And if you found this video helpful, click the like button for me. Thanks for watching. Indulge.